Situated between the sea and the mountains, Nice is the perfect example of the art of living. The capital of the French Riviera is France's second largest tourist destination after Paris. Join me to discover Nice's best places to visit, fun activities to do and delicious food to savor. Nice as you never see it before. After a flight of two hours, we were prepared to explore the hidden beauties of Nice. We've just landed in Nice. Right from the airport, we were surprised to find such a fast and easy way to reach the city center. Right in front of the airport, there is a L2 tram, which will bring you directly to Nice Central. And it's really convenient, it's 1.5 euro. It's probably the best means of transportation from an airport uh, that I've seen so far. Really fast. Yeah, I think it's the, the, the fastest way yeah. to get to the city center. First stop, La Boulangerie de Paul. Let's have a coffee and a snack here in Nice. As we still had time until our check-in, smells coming from Paul's bakery invited us on his terrace. A coffee and a croissant will surely bring us some energy. 15 minutes right after we've landed in Nice and I'm in the center of the city eating a croissant and having a coffee. I missed France. So this is our hotel. We arrived a bit earlier, but let's see if we can leave our luggages. Now let's leave our luggages and explore Nice. We were lucky and uh, the hotel has uh, kept our luggages until uh, 3 o'clock when we will have uh, our check-in. So now we will explore Nice by foot. Minutes away is Massena Square, our first attraction of Nice. We learned that it's Nice main square and it is from here that is worth starting your city tour. Massena Square is a place you can't afford to miss, partly because of its characteristic checkerboard made of pavement tiles across its entire surface, and the second because of its the main shopping street nearby. Many urban events take place at Place Messena, including the Nice Carnival. Very often photographed is Fountain of the Sun. It consists of sculptures symbolizing the planets Earth, Mars, Venus, Mercury and Saturn. In the middle there is a huge statue of Apollo, the son of the system. Esplanade Georges Pompidou Park is right near the beach. It is a tiny park where you can discover a variety of flowers and trees. The parasailing caught our eye. If you want to boost your adrenaline, this is the perfect activity to do. Prices start from 90 euros for an activity lasting around 10 minutes with an altitude of 100 meters. Nice beaches are composed of large pebbles called gallets. For centuries, free rivers have brought these stones from the mountains to the coast. The beaches here in Nice are not with sand, they are with rocks and it's not really convenient for the foot. Luckily we have the Nikes on right now, but uh, if you don't want to stay on the rocks, you need to pay like uh, 28 euros at least for a sunbed. We were shocked about the sunbed's prices and a double deluxe bed can reach prices of 100 euros. After that, we've explored the surrounding area with a cute carousel and another quiet park with a relaxing fountain and some futuristic art sculptures. We are now going to Notre Dame of Nice, uh, the little sister of Notre Dame of Paris. Uh, let's discover it! Notre Dame of Nice is neo-gothic Roman Catholic church and it is the largest church in Nice. Its construction was motivated by a desire to add French architecture to the city following the acquisition of the county of Nice by France from the Kingdom of Sardinia. 
Its most prominent features are two square towers 65 meters high, which dominate the east front together with a large rose window featuring scenes of the Assumption of Mary. Located in the center of the city, it offers passers-by a spectacular view to admire on a shopping trip. Moreover, the tram passes right in front and offers an amazing view to travelers. It is illuminated at night to offer a colorful show of magical light. We found a place 7 days snack, it's called, and all pizzas are at 6 euro. We have really good reviews, so I believe that it will be really delicious. The pizza from 7 days was really delicious and you cannot find pizza with 6 euro here in Nice, so definitely recommend it, it was awesome and the owner of the pizzeria made the pizza. All roads take you to the beach, it's awesome, Lengle Promenade or the English walkway. So I now know why Nice is so famous by its delicious pizza and ice cream because uh, Nice was part of Italy until 1860. There is a unique vibe on the beach right before sunset. Besides the fact that people are doing sports like riding bicycles or running, there are a lot of blue chairs inviting you to sit down, relax and enjoy a magnificent sunset. The blue chair is the symbol of Nice. You can find them on the promenade and also buy many souvenirs with them on. La Chaise Blue de Sable is a lovely large sculpture of the iconic chair which is unmissable on the promenade. The blue represents the Mediterranean Sea and the sky. What a lovely way to end the day in Nice. Walking on the promenade, enjoying the sunset and admiring the beautiful surroundings. Good morning guys, it's 7 o'clock in the morning and we are going to see the sunrise on Promenade d'Angle. We woke up early to see parts of Nice without being crowded and headed directly to the beach. On our 10 minutes walk we passed by beautiful Masena Square and we couldn't pass by without a short stop to the famous sun fountain. One thing that you must do is come to Promenade d'Angle and watch the beautiful sunrise. There was a quiet atmosphere at the beach, the early risers waiting in silence, the magic moments of the first sunrise. We were delighted of the serenity of the morning. Earlier in the video you had the chance to experience the sunset, which we found it more spectacular. To be honest, you will not see the sunrise because it's right after this cliff. On our way to having something for breakfast, we noticed activity to Dominican Father's Convent, which is a Catholic church, and entered out of curiosity. But enough, as we were starving. Our pick was Eric Kaiser Bakery, where you can find a large variety of sandwiches, quiche, plenty of patisserie to choose, and of course, our fuel for the day, coffee. After a delicious breakfast, it's now time to explore the old town of Nice. With its location right in the heart of old Nice, the history of the city hall has been marked by its various functions housing municipal institutions from 1868. The is a sea of pastel-colored buildings, old churches and narrow alleyways. Its streets are filled with shops and restaurants, tiny squares and crowded cafes. Everything until ice cream. Wanna guess what my baby wants? Prices are affordable here in Nice. Tell me Let's how it is. Let's see it? how it is. It is with pistachio and coconut. Mmm, your favorite flavors. Yeah. Wow. Very, How is very it? Good. Amazing. You should taste it too. And I think it was pretty cheap actually. How much was it? I paid 4 euros 20 for two scoops. Ah. So I 
Oh, that's good. a good price. Yeah. Did you negotiate it? No, we are not in Turkey here. Now that everyone is happy, let's see some attractions. Our attention was drawn by the Prefecture Palace. It was called the Royal Palace or the Palace of the Kings of Sardinia. Since 1861 until now, it has been accommodating the headquarters of the Prefecture of the Maritime Alps. So, this is uh, La Prefecture des Alpes Maritimes. Near the old port, Marché aux Fleurs has been selling flowers to the public for more than 100 years. Right in the old town of Nice, uh, the flower market surprised us. Today, it is still one of France's foremost markets, selling delicious fruit and vegetables as well as local flowers. The only day you won't find flowers and food is Monday. That's the day for the antiques or flea market. Here you can find all manner of items such as furniture, jewelry or books. Having a walk in the flower market, it's a really nice day to walk. Well, it's a little bit rainy actually. <laughs> I mean, it was this morning, but now we can see the sun. Yeah, the rain stopped and now we can enjoy Nice at its best. Yeah, it's our last day here, so we need to take advantage of this. Yeah, we want to go on the English walkway, on the promenade at the beach, and also we want to climb uh, up in the hill. Up in the hill, the to viewpoint of uh, Nice. An effortless way to visit the city is via Segway. It's a one-hour ride and you'll visit the old center. Prices start from 30 euros. Don't worry if you don't know how to ride the Segway, you'll have 15 minutes of training before the ride. We met the ex-president of France for 12 years, Jacques Chirac, but not in real person. The square dedicated to his name houses a beautiful tunnel taking you to the amazing beachfront of Nice. We felt in love with Nice. Who would have known that Nice would surprise us that much? Church of Ghez, also known as the Church of Saint Jacques le Major of Nice, is a Roman Catholic church with Baroque architecture with a Corinthian facade. The inside is decorated with motifs illustrating the life of Saint Jacques le Major. A short visit to the Tribunal Judiciar, but just from a tourist point of view. By the way, I saw a lot of bad reviews for the local institutions. Is it that bad? I really hope I'll get a point of view from a Nice resident. Now let's get lost on the narrow streets of Nice, literally. We are now climbing to Castle Hill to see a viewpoint of all Nice. Let's follow you. This way. Is it this way? I think we are going to someone's apartment. <laughs> wow, this place is incredible. Wow, I feel like you vetted here, right? Look, look how narrow these streets are. Yeah, 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 mm. exactly. Like in Venice, people are living here. I think there are like small apartments or something like this. Yeah, it's so Italian, I would say. Which to that end? Oh, fine. So, this is our viewpoint. So this is not the walkway to Castle Hill. Don't do this, unless you want to see these beautiful and colorful houses. We are going back to Promenade of Nice. We are heading to the Castle Hill, which is up there. We have just started our climb. Be prepared for a large number of steps. And be prepared also for some magnificent views. Somebody is out of shape. Too much pizza. So this is the view for the first floor at the Castle Hill. It's a little bit difficult, but we are gonna make it. I don't know how many stairs. There are, are hundreds of stairs. I think so. Seems like never ending. We are now heading to the waterfall. 
We are at the base of the waterfall and right in front of the waterfall is a magnetic view. Let's go right now on the upper part of the waterfall. And this is how it looks at the second floor, which is also the last floor from the Castle Hill. Castle Hill in Nice, or Colline du Chateau, dominates the city and divides the seaside part of Nice into two parts. The eastern part with the port and the western part with the old town of Nice. The 92 meters high hills offers views from all sides and tourists take the most recognizable photos of Nice from here. After you've seen everything uphill, it is worth going to the cemetery. There are two historic cemeteries on Castle Hill in Nice. First, you pass the Jewish cemetery and then you enter the Catholic cemetery. There are the tombs of aristocrats and famous people, among others the grave of Emil Jelinek, the creator of the Mercedes, which was his daughter's name. After visiting the necropolis you can go down the stairs leading to the old town where you will pass nearby to the fish market. Being on the castle hill, it is worth looking at your watch so you don't get scared. Every day, punctually at noon, you can hear a cannon shot in Nice. The especially loud rumble can be heard on castle hill. According to the story, Sir Thomas Coventry Moore, firing his cannon, notified his wife to come back from the city center for lunch. We went uh, up to, to the see. castle hill. Yeah, to the castle hill and... There were also some waterfalls, very, very beautiful. And this great view, this panorama of Nice. So this is the fourth day here in France and I wanted a lot to have a swim, but it was not possible because we've visited a lot of cities. You will see all videos about them. And now, luckily, we have some sun today and I want to go for a swim. And I think I will be watching you. It's now time to have a swim. Look at this rocky beach. Definitely need to wear something. I'm really curious if the water is warm. I saw a lot of people uh, were swimming, but it's middle of September and we are in France. Even though I was the only one in the water, it was absolutely perfect. I waited for this moment for many days and now it's happening. What you don't know about me is that I am sensible to cold water, but this time I was amazed of the perfect temperature of the sea. It's really hard to exit the seaside. You need to have some food coppers. If not, you don't come to the beach. Look at these rocks. They will be a pain in the food. How was your experience? The water was great. It was worth waiting for four days to have this swim. The humidity is really good because when I came out the sea, I didn't feel uh, like it was uh, cold. It's uh, really nice, but. Uh, you need to be careful as it is pretty hard to, to reach the seaside. As you can see, there are like uh, three steps and you have two meters depth. One fun thing to do in Nice is to ride this bicycle with Velo Blur. There are now 175 stations all throughout Nice, making it a convenient way to explore Nice surroundings. By night, Promenade d'Anglais becomes animated and decorated with lights. Take a seat and listen to the waves, or take your shorts and start doing sports. Or have a stop at Negresco Hotel, which has been writing the legend of Nice and the French Riviera for more than one century. Even though we were not staying there, but we would not decline the future barter collaboration, we went inside and we visited like a museum. It didn't disappoint us. The Cathedral of Saint Reparata, or just simply Nice Cathedral, has been proclaimed as one of the national monuments of France since 1906. The outside of the church is nice, but nothing special. It isn't particularly large either, but once you step in, the Baroque interior is amazing. 
The interior includes 10 chapels. The patron saint of the cathedral is also the patron saint of the city of Nice. Definitely worth a visit as you will find it in the center of the city. Close to the Cathedral of Saint Reparata is the Church of Our Lady of the Annunciation, better known today as the Shrine of the Saint Rita. Built in the 13th century is one of the oldest in Nice. Over the last days I've been passing through the gardens of Albert and there were no fountains here, but eventually in our last day they have arrived. What you need to know is that Albert Gardens are right near Masena Plus in the center of the city. You need to take an accommodation that is close to Old Town of Nice. At around 5 or 10 minutes is our hotel. It is really nice. Nap Hotel, Happy Nap Hotel. You need to Google it and if you want book a room there it is not too expensive we pay like uh, 450 euros per four nights and we had awesome stay there another misconception of nice is to think that this is a little city nice has a population of 1.1 million people of all the places that are essential to see in Nice, there are two attractions that are a must. It's hard to ignore them because they are both in the open air and very visible. One of them is Castle Hill with its ruins of a defensive wall and an artificial waterfall. The second is, of course, the Promenade d'Anglais. I think after spending four days here that we will come back shortly because it's very beautiful, the whole coast is very beautiful and we've seen a lot of amazing places here and we would like to come back and maybe stay like one week at least I would say. Yes, we feel that we didn't see everything here and we still have a lot of Nice to enjoy. After four days spent mainly in Nice, we felt in love with this city. We love the good vibes and the mixture between the sea and the hills, amazing views and romantic walks on the promenade. The old town is an architectural masterpiece and the whole pace of the city gives you peace and tranquility. Besides Nice, we had two amazing day trips to Cannes, Antibes and Monaco, to which I will create videos in the near future. If you enjoy this type of movies, watch the rest of the series with things to do in cities around all Europe, Asia or South America. All the reasons to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a good one!